We live together all through university. And we want to live together again. again. <laughs> we would prefer to live in an apartment in a house. <gasps> this is so beautiful. This is huge. So I just feel like it's bad karma. That is good karma. I think I need a new roommate. <laughs>
You get extra counter space and additional casual seating with stools tucked underneath. Whimsical feminine light fixtures can be bought for a steal at big box stores, and often landlords will be willing to install them for you. That will leave room for a formal seating area with an oversized blackboard that works as an art piece and message board. The space is there. The opportunity to have a great kitchen is there. It's just not being well used right now. This is what you're going to love. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so beautiful. This room is incredible. This is beautiful. The front room is dripping in character. I call this room Steel. Jamie, no, this one's it. definitely mine. <laughs> it's one of the most amazing bedrooms that I've seen in anyone's house. I'm so in love with that room. Wow, look at the ceilings. They're all rounded off. And it has a nice shape to it. It's not really just boxy. It's, it's amazing. Really it's too bad that the closet isn't very good. Yeah, it doesn't really Yeah, but you could put like a, a curtain or something. A curtain over it or something. So this is what the landlord intends to be, the second bedroom. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, you could repurpose it as the living room if you wanted mm -hmm. to share it because it's so pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a nice room to show off. So you'd want that to be a room that you bring your visitors into. This room is really big as well. I think the room that's being shown as a living room is actually not a bad option as a second bedroom. You could have um, a bed and a desk. There's lots of room. Oh, for sure. And there's some stuff. There's a little bit of storage. Yeah. Tiny closet. I don't know if this will do for Jamie. It's not too big, but put some things in there for sure. Either of us could live there perfectly happily. The whole apartment has really nice big rooms that could be used in many different ways. So if we relate this place to your wish list, it's pretty good. And there's a laundromat around the corner. And it goes for $16.90 per month inclusive. Yeah. So it's slightly over budget. Nice. It's a little bit disconcerting thinking about spending another $90. The rent is pretty much always negotiable. So I think we could get it down. And it's also got everything they're looking for. So it might be worth spending a little bit more. Since Caitlin and Jamie are so enamored with the idea of a unit in a house, I'm taking them to see another option across town. It's in a trendy neighborhood that's home to a ton of young renters. This one's an even more central location, only a 10-minute streetcar ride into downtown. The large unit occupies the main floor of a row house that has two additional apartments with their own separate entrances. Ladies, if I was your age, this is the kind of neighborhood I would want to live in. It's safe, but it's also where so much of the fun happens in the city. It's just off a of busy street, so that's good. Steps to transit. This is a two-bedroom apartment on the main floor of a row house. It's a great house. Let's check it out. So come on in. Right away, we find a bedroom. Wow. This is huge. Nice the bay window is pretty wonderful. Yes. Nice ceiling. Really high ceiling. Really good ceiling height, isn't it? Amazing. Jamie, I'll have to grow a couple inches. <laughs> <laughs> I could like jump on a trampoline in here. <laughs> Let's check out the closet. the closet. Oh, Jamie, this is good. I feel like there's some wasted closet space back there, but it's good cut. Yeah. So the second bedroom. Wow, huge. Nice Again. The bedrooms in this place are really good for these girls. They're pretty much equal size. So what does that window go out to? The window actually doesn't lead outside. It leads into a laundry area that's shared between the units. I like to wake up in the morning and look out my bedroom window, not any other window in the house, and see what the weather is like. I didn't know she was so particular about her window. <laughs> I think I need a new roommate. <laughs> so here's the bathroom. Tile everywhere. The bathroom isn't a bad bathroom as far as bathrooms go. And kitchen. Kitchen's decent, decent size. And I guess you can change out these, right? Yeah. Hardware is really easy to switch out. That's one of the you know cheap um, and easy things that mm -hmm. renters can do to uh, modernize a kitchen. And this one needs a little bit of modernization. Oh, yeah. So what do you think of a paint color in here? I don't really like it. It's nice and bright, which is good, mm -hmm. because it's bright. But I, I'm not sure about the yellow and the, the yellow and green. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the living room. All right. Well, this is a good size. It's narrow, but it's good, yeah. So how do you guys feel about this lovely blush color? I don't mind it. The color, which Jamie doesn't mind, I find a little bit revolting. I can do fabulous things with this room. I think it's got loads of potential. Try to look past our rental's wall color. Paint is the easiest and least expensive thing to change. If you've always wanted hot pink walls, rentals are the place to experiment. 
just make sure you get the okay from your landlord. Make an affordable feature wall out of your vacation photos by showcasing them in uniform, crisp white frames. You can save by covering tired sofas and futons with budget-friendly slip covers, while splurging on dramatic throw pillows that add impact and style. I would be really excited to see how that space could be transformed by Jody. So it's got everything you were looking for in one of your favorite neighborhoods. There's a little backyard that's for you guys to use, and it's $1,600 per month inclusive, so it's bang on budget. Yeah. That's not bad, especially for this area. This area is nice, and it's it huge. More. There's definitely things that we would change about the place, but I, I wouldn't say anything as major as to like make or break our decision. Caitlin and Jamie may not have been interested in a high-rise, but until you check out what a place has to offer, you should never judge blindly. High-rises are great options because they're often operated by management companies who take care of the rentals and anything that needs fixing. We're a bit outside of the downtown core, about a 20-minute subway ride, but the station is steps away. The further outside of the city you go, the lower the rents, so I want the girls to have the option. When renting, you really need to keep an open mind. I know you guys were thinking of a house. Well, this is a high-rise. They're really common and popular in the city because they've got great views and it's higher density, so generally lower prices. The building has a huge laundry room in the basement, <gasps> and it's also directly across the street from transit. Awesome. Perfect. Let's see if the apartment works for you. Come on in. Wow. It's so big and the living room is so open. It wasn't what I expected from an apartment in a high rise. Because these renters have done such a great job decorating their space, it's easy to see the potential here. Yeah. yeah. What you have to note is that they're going to take all of their stuff out. <laughs> it's an amazing space, but we may not at this point have the furniture it needs to really make it an amazing looking place. I have loads of ideas of how to pull the potential out of this place and make it really speak Caitlin and Jamie. Good. Awesome. When you're just starting out, furnishing a rental doesn't have to cost a fortune. Search online and in secondhand stores for inexpensive pieces that can be freshened up. Hit garage sales and check with friends and family to see if they have any furniture to spare. Be sure to save some money for window treatments. Inexpensive ready-made drapes can be found at big box stores. Layer them in front of roller blinds that can be purchased off the rack and mounted outside of the window frame. This place does actually have some really great potential. So this is the kitchen. It's bright and white, fresh. This is a small kitchen, but the space is actually used quite well. Yeah, and there's a lot of counter space. It's nice and clean. Yeah, yeah, it's very clean. Really clean. And bright. It's got like a little bit of a sterile feel because there's no handles on anything and it's all it's white. Chill. So it looks really clean, but like a little bit like a hospital yeah. coat of paint would probably add a lot of character to the to an otherwise fairly boring room. You guys need to see the patio. Okay. Right. Wow. Wow. That is an incredible view. Doubt there's a better view in the whole city. I'm not even a big view person, and I'm quite impressed. So this is the bathroom. It's a little dated, but it's huge, and there's two sinks. Oh, yeah. This is the apartment's smaller of the two bedrooms. Lots of things in here. But you can tell it's actually not a bad size. I don't think it's as small as it looks because of the placement of the furniture and how much stuff is in the room. Oh, wow. Wow. Awesome it's size. Definitely an amazing size. Oh, my goodness. There's, there's <laughs> a lot of storage in here and a lot of hangar space. All my dreams are coming true. <laughs> The master bedroom in this apartment is pretty amazing. If Caitlin and Jamie take this place, they're gonna have to toss a coin for that one. It's $11.90 per month. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. That is well below That's our budget. Amazing. <laughs> That's a savings of $400 per month, wow. which over a year is $4,800. The fact that it has everything on our wish list and it's $400 less than our maximum budget is Unbelievable. So, high rise isn't looking so bad at that not price. at all. This place is definitely a place that we could live in, and it's it would save us a fortune. So what's it going to be? I've shown Caitlin and Jamie three apartments that all fit their wish list perfectly. The question is, will they choose one of the funky units in a house or the money-saving high rise? We've seen a bunch of really great places. They're a million times all. better than the places we've been looking at ourselves. So what do you guys think about the semi-detached with great architectural character? 
loved it. It was awesome. It was a really great place. The rooms were huge, and that one room was unbelievable. Yeah. The price was kind of a problem for us. Now, keep in mind, rent is negotiable. Right. So what about the row house in the hip area? For me, the location was the best of the three of them, by far. And the rooms were really nice, really big. So let's talk about the high rise with a view. You guys were not so into high rises. We weren't into high rises, but we were, um, we were definitely pleasantly surprised by the place you found us. The view, obviously, was incredible, unbelievable, and the For price sure. was the price amazing. was definitely <laughs> amazing. So, which one do you think feels most like home? With three great rentals to choose from, will the girls go for the lower price at the high rise or stick to their original plan of living in a house? I think the row house. We're gonna go with the row house. It was an amazing location and it has everything that we want and within our budget. It's perfect. Good, well, to make it yours, one of you guys has to make a phone call. Hi there, my name's Caitlin. We're very interested in the apartment and I just had a couple of questions if you don't mind. When calling landlords, make the best first impression you can. Avoid calling during dinner hours or too late at night. It's okay to address some of your concerns during the initial phone call, but don't come on too strong. There will be plenty of time to ask all of your questions when you meet the landlord face to face. We'll see you then. Thanks so much. Bye bye. So? So she wants us to come by and meet with her tonight. Be very prepared. Have your checks with you. Have your employment letters with you. Be ready to sign a lease. Take a checklist of all the questions you want to answer before you sign it. We could have an apartment by tonight, Jamie. If you do, you better call me. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. We got the place, which is awesome. We're so excited about it. So it's two weeks until we move in. Two weeks is way too long. Two weeks is two weeks too long. <laughs> I want to move in right now. I think this rental will be the perfect place for Caitlin and Jamie to do a little bit of growing up. I left my packing until the night before, probably around 11 o'clock, which is my style. It's how I roll. I packed to move, like, two, two and a half months ago, so I've been waiting for this for a long time. Caitlin and Jamie didn't have the money for professional movers, so they convinced Caitlin's dad to lend a hand and to cover the cost of a rental trailer. If you have a car and not a lot of stuff to move, trailers are the most economical options. The girls were able to move in less than three hours for under $100. Since this is their first place, Caitlin and Jamie have very little furniture. In fact, all they've brought with them is a sofa and two beds, and the rest is up to us. On a $1,000 budget, I've promised them a fun and stylish living room that will reflect their vibrant personalities while giving them a comfortable space to hang out. I just hope the design and the hot pink paint color is what Caitlin and Jamie had in mind for their first grown-up apartment in the city. Come see your new place. Oh my goodness. This is <laughs> incredible. Wow. Stunning. Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I definitely love it too. <laughs> we we love it. the makeover. <laughs> it's amazing. I love the color. Me too. The color is called cream soda, and I was like <laughs> totally taking a chance on it. Caitlin and Jamie did not want anything neutral, so I got to have a lot of fun with color and pattern in here. It's wild and crazy and wouldn't work for some people, but it definitely works for us. Definitely. <laughs> wow, look at the photos. They're all our photos. Yeah, that's so cool. And I love that it's just like ceiling to floor. I made the gallery wall out of photographs from Caitlin and Jamie's travels. Printing them in black and white was a great way to give them uniformity, and it also balances out the bright, bold color on the walls. And I love, again, that it's our art on the wall. Oh, it's that. pictures that we've taken, and they look beautiful. I love this rug. I think the design on the carpet is so cool. It's so funky. Look at those lamps. I know, I saw it. It's They're amazing. beautiful. They're beautiful. So many pillows for our friends to sleep over. <laughs> it all goes together so nicely without going together in a matchy, matchy kind of way. I love the shelves. They're mm -hmm. so nice, and they're really bold. I took floating shelves and added painted spindles to create a decorative yet sturdy display unit. This little armchair had dark brown wood legs, so we painted those out white, which gave it new life. 
I love the new chair. It's gorgeous. Yes. And this was your couch. Yeah, yes. it's just been recovered. Just been recovered. <laughs> it feels like some place you can have people over and entertain, and it's warm and cozy but fun. It's absolutely it's perfect. It's definitely us. Yes. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> This apartment is completely transformed because while well, my design team and I were working in this room, Caitlin and Jamie painted every square inch of the rest of the apartment. Just a coat of paint and it changes everything. So I ended up with the room with no natural sunlight coming through, which is unfortunate, but we drew out of a hat. Caitlin and Jamie painted the kitchen gray, a color that they pulled out of the tiles that were already there. They got permission from the landlord to paint out the trim in a nice crisp white, and the whole kitchen looks completely transformed. And I mean, it took us all of a few hours, and it looks so much newer, so much cleaner. I would say the kitchen was my least favorite room in the house before, and now it's probably one of my favorite mm -hmm. rooms in the house. After this one. After this <laughs> one. <laughs> Our makeover cost $850. That's just over half a month's rent. And this place is transformed. It's vibrant and fun, a fabulous place for Caitlin and Jamie to spend the next couple years of their lives. It's exactly what we were looking for. This is perfect. Thank you. Thank you My so pleasure. much for your help. We never could have done it without you. No. <laughs> I love this apartment. I love where it is. I just feel at home already. I'm looking for a condo. I'm in new building. Well, the room is very tiny. It was also kind of ugly. You know, it's a little small. The kitchen's got loads of potential. I hate the carpet. Do you think this is the one? I don't know. Finding a stylish rental on a limited budget isn't easy. Finding in a high demand neighborhood is next to impossible as recent law school graduate Amanda is finding out. She's been sharing a beautifully designed home with her best friend, Nikki. Well, Nikki and I have lived together for the last year. I kind of bit off more than I could chew in buying this place. And she went, I'll live with you. And I said, perfect, okay. I love this space. She's just done a fabulous job with it. This is my room through this way. It's fairly simple, classic. I like things very tidy and organized. This place is pretty fantastic, really. I love everything about it. But Amanda is now ready to move out into her first place on her own. Well, I just finished articling at a law firm a couple months ago, and I'm starting to work as an associate in the next couple months, and I'd really like to have my own place. Problem is, she's grown accustomed to living in style and can't find the stylish apartment she's looking for on her budget. My standards are pretty high. I have been spoiled. Nikki's place is just amazing, so it will be hard to find something as fantastic as this. I'm going to help her find an affordable rental that has that sense of luxury she's used to, even if it means making a few compromises along the way. This is Nikki. Nikki, Hi, nice to meet you. It's a great, great place. It's definitely a hard place to leave. What kind of a place are you looking for? I'm looking for a condo, you know, in a new building. Some place with cute guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One bedroom, something downtown. It's really important for me to be able to walk to work. Being on the waterfront would be great. Some place, you know, with good amenities. I have a gym membership now, so I mean, if I found a condo with a gym, I could give up that monthly expense. I'd like something with a balcony. I have a lot of clothing, so <laughs> closet space is pretty important to me. How much do you want to spend on your new place? I've kind of set my budget between twelve to fifteen hundred. It really just depends on the place. If I'm paying fifteen hundred, I'd like that to include my utilities. Okay, and you know that sometimes a landlord will require a security deposit. I thought it was you'd either pay last month's rent or a security deposit. Sometimes you pay both. Can you tell me how your search has been going so far? Looking for a condo that's downtown. The rent is pretty high, and mm -hmm. most of the places I'm finding are incredibly small. One-bedroom apartments that are brand new are tiny. Like, right. they just don't build yeah. them large. So you may find that that's a compromise right. you have to make to go into an older building that's renovated right. in order to get the size. You know, okay. maybe a newer building that's not 500 square feet, but 550 or 600 or something. I better get myself to work.
Amanda's wish list is not so realistic, uh, mostly because she wants something that's large and that's new. I think that the main thing that she'll have to compromise on is the age of the building. I'm starting my job within the next month, so I do need to find a place pretty quickly. When renting a condo, keep in mind that rents tend to run a little higher, since landlords need to cover condo fees. As a general rule, the more amenities, the higher the rent. The first place I'm taking Amanda is a one bedroom on the waterfront. It's just a 15 minute walk to Amanda's office. So we are at a brand new condo. It doesn't get newer than this. So new that the dust hasn't even settled yet. <laughs> I like the fact that it's a walk to work for you. It's still by the waterfront. Word on the street is that the amenities in this building are gonna be awesome. But they're not done yet, and they won't be ready for another uh, two or three months or so. It's not really a big deal right now, just because I do most of my working out outside running, so by the time the amenities are ready would probably be when I need them anyway. Okay, well, let's go check it out. Fantastic. I'm excited to see it. So the location seems right, and Amanda will love the state-of-the-art gym. But let's see what she thinks of the square footage. Oh, it's nice and bright. Mm -hmm. The washroom's here. Right. It's good. Nice. Decent size. Very new. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, it's so brand spanking new, huh? I showed this place to Amanda to figure out whether brand spanking new was really what she's after. You know, it's a little small. Like you were saying before, these newer buildings, they're so much more compact. So this one does feel a little bit boxed in. It feels very generic. It feels very, very cookie, cookie cutter. cutter. It's nice because it's modern, but also it doesn't have as much character. It's nice that it has laminate floors. I prefer that than carpet. I like the windows, it's great, except for the view in this place isn't that spectacular. While we're down at the harbor front, I have a view of the highway from here. And will they cover window coverings and things like that in the cost? Not very often. Not very often, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's something as a tenant that you're responsible for? Yep, usually. Wow. So Blinds that's are expensive. So that's another benefit to going with a building that's a little bit older, because usually the window coverings are already there. Right. And you know, they've done the sort of things that make, that make a place more comfortable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the view here isn't quite a selling feature, but it does have a good-sized balcony, so that's another check mark on the wish list. Well, let's see the rest of it. Oh, wait, this is it. <laughs> but is that the bedroom out of the kitchen? Well, it's definitely new. Yeah, Fresh paint, new carpet, but it's very small. It feels a little bit like a box, eh? Holy, it's like going to bed in a coffin. Yeah. <laughs> this is the typical size mm -hmm. of a bedroom in a, in a brand new place. I feel like it'd be hard to live in that tiny little space all the time. This place is new and modern, and I know that was on my wish list, but Jody's kind of changed my perspective in that a lot of the older places are a lot bigger. And I think for me, it might, the space might be more important than the newness of the building. Now, it does have a closet. Oh, really? I've got a small one. <laughs> it's tiny. Yeah. yeah, closet space is hard to find in these new places. So, I don't know, it's tough. This place obviously is new, but uh, I think it lacks a bit of character. Well, check out the kitchen, though, because the kitchen's got loads of potential. So I know this kitchen isn't absolutely perfect the way it is, um, but it is really big. This kitchen might be new, but it has zero personality. It might take some sweet talking to get the landlord to agree, but painting the cabinets and changing the hardware are inexpensive solutions for renters in a cookie cutter kitchen. I'd paint the lower cabinets a darker color than the uppers to help the black appliances blend in and give the room an airy quality. Remind your landlord that a fresh coat of paint will help distinguish this kitchen from all the rest when it goes back on the rental market. So how much does this unit cost? What's the rent? It's on at $1,300, which is oh. well under budget. That's true. And uh, it already has a parking space, so you could rent that out for like about $150 a month. So with Amanda not having a car, leasing out the space would bring her rent down to $1,150 a month. Question is, will Amanda give up square footage for lower rent? Price is important because I went to law school for three years, I'm trying to pay down my debt. So, I mean, I have a price range for a condo, but ideally I'd like to pay the lower end, which was this place. Amanda's search for her dream rental has led us a bit further outside the downtown core to a roomier one-bedroom condo in a slightly older high-rise. It's still right by the water, but about a 30-minute walk to Amanda's work. We're a little far away from your office, Amanda. I guess it's kind of pros and cons. The building is slightly older than the new ones that you've been looking at. So it means that the space in the actual suites are fairly decent, fairly good size. This particular building, they've done some renovations to the amenities, so I thought it would be a good one to show you. The lobby's beautiful, the, uh, the gym is beautiful. Anyway, let's check it out and see if you like it. 
Come on in. Oh, this place is great. Oh, it is great, actually. Oh, it's really big. You're right. It is, so a slightly older building, bigger space. I showed Amanda this apartment to prove to her that there is such thing as a stylish building that's not brand spanking new. And this one happens to be extra wonderful because it's a corner unit, and therefore it has a wraparound balcony. That's fabulous. I really love the high ceilings. They're fantastic. It makes the place look a lot bigger, I'm sure. Same with the windows. It's really open, which is what I like a lot about Nikki's place. And fabulous uh, new appliances. Really great appliances, but you don't cook, so. But I want to. This is a tough space, though, to configure furniture. The problem with that place was that the furniture was just obviously too big for the space. So if I was there, I would have smaller furniture. It's a great space. It just needs a bit of a makeover. Mm -hmm. It needs a girl's touch. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so there's a catch. <laughs> The bedroom's pretty tight. Check this out. These are beautiful doors, although the room is very tiny. <laughs> I liked the bedroom, but it really was just too small. There's no place to put a dresser. And did you see this closet? It looks a little too small for my stuff right now. The closet was tiny. It was also kind of ugly. Am I missing something? Is there any other storage anywhere? There's a surprise walk-in somewhere? No. Oh, darn it. <laughs> no. What would you do to make this place look a little better? Well, I'd bring in a bed with deep drawers built right underneath so you won't even need a dresser. As a renter, you need to make use of all the available space. We'd invest in a headboard with storage and anchor rows of shelving all the way up to the ceiling to take advantage of its height. In a tiny condo bedroom, it's all about clever storage solutions. I think Jody had some great ideas for that bedroom. And what's the rent here? It's $1,500 a month. $1,500 for rent is probably the top of my limit right now. I mean, I think this place is really great. It does have a lot of the things I'm looking for. It's definitely a weighing of the pros and cons. I'm not sure if Amanda is willing at this point to compromise on the location, being this far away from work, and having a space that doesn't have the storage space she's looking for. Still on our hunt for a condo that has the space and location that Amanda's looking for, I'm taking her to see a one bedroom plus den in a three-year-old building that still feels brand new. This one just came on the market, so I wanted to get us in fast. Nikki's unavailable, but I advised Amanda not to wait and stall because a great rental like this will get snatched up quickly. So she's decided to go solo to see condo number three. I think this building is fantastic for you. The location is absolutely perfect. I know it's awesome right on the waterfront. And I can see my office, which is very close for walking. And it's huge. It's three huge towers yeah. that share one section of amenity. So it means the amenities are out of this world. That's great. Let's check it out. Amanda can cancel her gym membership. This place has a great pool and weight room. So come on in. So there's a two-piece bathroom there. Oh, that's fantastic. So there's one and a half bathrooms? That's right. Oh, that's good. I love the fact that there was one and a half bathrooms. That is the first apartment at that size that I've seen that with. So what do you think yeah, of this kitchen? So, um, I like it. It has a good layout. It's uh, a little bit dirty right now, but I mean, I like the bar. It's great. I really wanted that. The very best thing you can do is to ask the landlord to do a professional cleaning job. I mean, if that's something I could put in my lease, that it does get professionally cleaned, that's good to know. So, and it also needs some paint. The girls who own the place said that they would be open to painting, which I think mm, is fantastic. Yeah. So we might be able to ask them to go uh, with a color that would work for you. Oh, that'd be great. What do you think of the living area? It's a huge space, a lot bigger than some of the other places I've seen. The carpet looks really dingy. How old did you say this building was? The building's three years old, and these carpets look like seven or eight years old. Like, they look like their life is finished. I hate the carpet. I think you could even ask them to replace the carpets with other carpet, or for almost the same cost, laminate hardwood flooring for you. Ugh. I don't think I can live with the carpet as it is. It's a little bit too dirty for me, and I have terrible allergies. And then I have a dining room table. Do you think it would fit in this space? The room was made to be a combination living dining room. Mm -hmm. So I want to define both areas. We'll do that easily in the living space with a simple rug, and in the dining area by hanging a fabulous chandelier as a focal point. When funds are limited, especially in a rental, splurge on one major thing that you can take with you when you go. My strongest suggestion would be to ask the landlord to switch out the carpet for a light-colored laminate floor. That alone will completely transform this room. 
Jody had some great design ideas. I love the fact that we can make that big room into a living room and dining room and put in a chandelier. I think that unless the landlord does something about the carpet in this place, there's no way Amanda will take it. Let's check out the bedroom. Great. Oh, it's a tiny bedroom. <laughs> I thought I'd maybe get a big bedroom somewhere, but I don't think it's possible in a new condo. It does have access to a four-piece bathroom. Oh, that's good. That's nice. And I see the closet, it's really tiny too. This place has a den, which okay. you don't really need an office space, so I was thinking you could slap a wardrobe in there. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. You could definitely put some kind of wardrobe in here and use it as a walk-in closet. Wow, and it looks like you've got, I've got a great view from here. There is a beautiful view, and it's a fairly decent-sized balcony. The balcony was fantastic. It it was big, way bigger than a lot of balconies I've seen. And so what's the rent for this place? The place is a little bit over your budget. It's $1,600 per month, but it has a parking space that is currently rented for $120 per month. Okay. But I've seen them in this building go as much as $170 per really? month. Really? And that would bring her rent down to $1,430 a month, well within budget. So do you think this is the one? I don't know, not with this carpet. I've shown Amanda three waterfront condos that all have their pros and cons. A brand new building with a tiny unit, an older building with high ceilings, and a newer building with a great layout but unwanted carpet. I think a little chat is in order to weigh the good against the bad. Okay, so we've seen quite a few places. Which one do you think is the right one for you? I don't know, it's kind of a hard choice right now. What about the brand spanking new one? I liked that. You know, that one was pretty good, but it was very cookie cutter. The older condo that we looked at with the really nice balcony, I liked that place a lot, but the location just wasn't ideal for me. It was too far away from work. There was no storage, and the bedroom was so small. The third one, I liked the open concept of that place. I love the location, Yeah, but the uh, carpet would have to be removed. We have three condos on the table with obvious pros and cons. Location usually tips the scale though, so I'm betting Amanda's leaning towards rental number one or number three. I think that the that, third one actually probably is my preference, but I really don't like the carpet. If you could get that place with either new carpet or laminate hardwood, is that the one? I think so, yeah. I really, really liked that place a lot. Okay, I think that to satisfy curiosity, you need to call that landlord and see if you can negotiate that. All right. Hi, this is Amanda. I just went and saw your uh, condominium. When you're Jody? negotiating with a landlord, right sell yourself. In Amanda's case, she's a young lawyer planning to stay in a rental for at least the next two to three years. Landlords want to keep responsible tenants with solid employment. Show them the pros of getting you in their place, and they might take care of some of the cons of their rental, like switching up old carpet for new laminate. She's debating. <laughs> So she said that she's gonna check my references and we are gonna meet in a few days, but that she thought laminate sounded like a great idea. Not hardwood, but laminate sounded, she That's thought great. they were thinking about that anyway. And so a couple days from now, you'll have your appointment yeah. and we'll know. Perfect. I'm so excited. I got the apartment and I just think I'm gonna love it there. I think this is the best place for Amanda. It's a great location. The laminate will make a huge difference once it's installed and the landlord is okay with her renting out the parking spot, which will help Amanda stay within her original budget. Hoping to avoid extra stress, Amanda hired movers for about $300 for the day. But if you don't check your references, you might be in for a bigger hassle than you bargained for. I hired some movers off the internet and they were terrible. My younger, stronger brother ended up doing most of the move for me. I'll know for next time to get a really good reference on movers. The landlord came through on her promise to switch out the dirty old carpet for laminate flooring and even agreed to give the whole place a fresh coat of paint and a thorough clean. More than just a perk for Amanda, the flooring is now a selling feature for the condo's resale potential. If you help your landlord see the resale value of certain upgrades, you might be surprised at how eager they are to attend to them while you're renting. It never hurts to ask. Armed with the keys to Amanda's new condo and a $1,000 budget, I've promised to transform her living room into a multifunctional and gorgeous space that will rival her friend Nikki's stylish digs. When you're renting, you don't want to invest in property that you don't own, so keep your budget low and your design plans focused on items you can take with you. Fabric is a great place to start. 
I'm in the market for some lush fabrics that will help me transform some old pieces. Inexpensive dining chairs found at a secondhand store are getting a fresh coat of clean white paint. The old seat cushions are an easy fix. A square of stylish fabric and a staple gun are all you need. I turned a beautiful blue flannel into slip covers for Amanda's old chairs, an inexpensive way to breathe new life into old furniture. One of my favorite tricks, carpet tiles. They come in an array of colors and patterns and are perfect for renters because you can use as many or as few as you need to fit the room. With Amanda's love for high design and a tight budget to work with, I just hope my plans fit the bill. Oh, wow. Oh, it looks great. It just looks so different. The laminate flooring makes all the difference in this rental. Plus, it's a great investment for the landlord. I love the chandelier. It's beautiful. Very modern. It's probably one of my favorite things. Chandeliers are great for renters because you put it in, you enjoy it while you're here, and as long as you keep the one that was here when you got here, you put it back up when you leave and you take this with you anywhere you go. I do really love the table. We got it at a flea market. It's an old teak style. I just think it's really clean and the lines are good and what's old is new. The rug is actually um, really neat because it's a whole bunch of different squares. You spill something on it, oh, I didn't you know take one that. up, you put another one down. I think the carpet is fantastic just because you can take it apart and you can change the shape. I really like these cushions too, they're great. Really, really nice material. We reused your clothing dresser as a TV stand and the way to make it all come together was to have the same color shelf above it. Oh, there's a picture of me and you out there. <laughs> oh, cute. <laughs> I think Jody did a fabulous job. I really like it. There's so many things about it that I probably wouldn't have been able to do on my own. The kitchen looks a thousand times better without the clutter, with a good cleaning. It's just so much cleaner. It's amazing what a little bit of, you know, elbow grease can do. Amanda's bedroom has really reached its potential with furniture placed in the right way. It's fabulous. I really actually love the bedroom. I love that they painted the back wall a darker shade. The solarium works fabulously as a walk-in closet. I'm glad Amanda took my advice. You know, I didn't have much closet space in there. I think that's really solved the problem. This is a real lesson in looking past other people's stuff. This place was a dog's breakfast when I showed it to Amanda, and look at it now. This whole makeover came in under $1,000, well below one month's rent. I think designing a space like this is definitely a good investment. Initially, it probably seems like a little bit more money than you're willing to spend, but I think that it just makes you love your home that much more. I'm very excited to start this stage of my life, um, a new job, uh, a new condo that I love, and um, you know, it's very exciting. This is our tent, this is our home. It's no longer fun. Mandy and Steve are tired of living in a tent. You're gonna love this, Mandy. I'm totally stoked on this room. We're being really crammed in in this space. Anything's bigger than a tent. For first-time renters, finding an apartment in the big city is an overwhelming task. Gathering references, getting a credit check, and coming up with first and last month's rent isn't easy. First full-time renters, Mandy and Steven, are a young couple who've been splitting their time between camping in a tent in the summer and crashing with friends in the winter. This is our tent. This is our home. Everything here is just basic essentials. I think all of our belongings are in our car. I work for a small not-for-profit. I'm a musician and a drummer. I'm not quite the outdoorsman that Steve is. I like being outdoors, but I'm really cushy. I like to eat out, and I like to go home and watch movies. Five, six years ago, I loved this lifestyle, but it's no longer fun, really. There's no warmth, and there's no comforts. You have to get up in the middle of the night to go pee, and it's pouring rain, and I hate that. There's no way to sort of relax at the end of the day when yeah. you're living in a tent in particular. Not being in the city trying to find a place has been a huge hurdle. Places go like almost as soon as they, they get online. Mandy and Steve are tired of living in a tent and sleeping on sofas. They need me to help them find their first rental ever in the big city. 
I'm making the trek into the wilderness to find out just what this outdoorsy duo are looking for. When do you guys want to get into your new rental? The cold weather is starting to come and, and snow will hit soon, so the sooner the better. If you guys can hold out a little while, you'll find there's way more selection further into the fall. The very beginning of the fall, it, all the students come in and take up all the good, inexpensive rentals. Mm -hmm. What would you say is your wish list? Main floor, if possible. Access to a backyard or a deck. No carpets, hardwood floors. And a little bit of working space. And storage. Can you describe the type of neighborhood you'd like to live in? Close to music venues, cafes. Access to a park or access to the water would be really nice because we are getting a puppy this fall. OK. So we like to mix sort of the outdoors, again, with a, a funky area. OK, and have you guys thought about your budget yet? Right now, our goal is to stay at 1100 everything included, if possible. We don't have a lot of flexibility. We'd like to keep some money to play around with a bit, to go whitewater kayaking, to go skiing, those sorts of activities. And how long do you see yourself in this particular rental? I think this is sort of our transition place, like getting our feet on the ground. It's our mm -hmm. first step towards a little bit of stability, and then from there, we'd like to grow. You guys have given me a really great idea of how to look at the rental market through your eyes when I get back to the city. I can't wait to get you guys into a nice warm apartment for the winter. Sounds good. When you live outside of the city where you're looking to rent, don't rely solely on the internet. Take a trip into town and look around neighborhoods of interest, hunting for places on foot or by car. Mandy and Steve brought me in to do just that. And first up, I'm showing them an apartment in a converted Victorian, just a few blocks from an artsy neighborhood, slightly west of downtown. So we're in your favorite neighborhood, right where you want to be. Yeah. Absolutely. This is totally where we wanted to be. OK, and we've got the main floor of a house. So let's go check it out. So come on in. What's cool about this place is that the landlord, Marco, lives upstairs, so he's been working on updating the place. Brand new cabinetry, mm -hmm. yeah, new backsplash, new countertops. The kitchen is amazing. The really neat thing about this kitchen is it's huge. Enough room for another workspace and mm -hmm. for an eating area, which is great. You rarely see a kitchen this big in yeah. a rental. Yeah, I'm totally liking it. I'm digging this. Yeah, it's great. Natural light, lots of space, new countertops and cabinetry were a big plus. The one thing that I wanted to sort of bring to your attention is um, the backyard doesn't really have like a grassy area for a dog. Having a dog and just being able to put her out without thinking twice about it, especially with a puppy, is really important. Yeah, that's something we'd have to talk about. Sure. Okay, I'll leave you guys with that. Let's, let's just check out the bathroom. Have a look. Mm -hmm. Mandy has more of a tendency to need some space in the bathroom. Could be an issue. Yeah. You know, when you're getting ready, I like counter space. There's just a sink. But uh, like the big mirror, it's really funky. I think Mandy and Steve can make the bathroom work. So the bedroom's not huge. You definitely fit a queen size bed in here, but it does have a big double closet. Where are you going to put your stuff? Mm, good one, MJ. <laughs> so I think the bedroom would be perfect for us. Having that neutral color, just you could already envision our stuff in it, which was really great. You're going to love this, Mandy. Ooh. Ooh, I do love it. Mm. So much character. It's great, eh? The living room is the deal maker for me. It's just got the vibe. It's got tons of space. It was warm. It was organic. It was simple. It was clean. It was exactly what I was hoping for. So what I was thinking with this room is we could make it a living room with an office in it. In a rental, if you need to create a double duty space, make use of every inch and work with the room's shape. Inexpensive desks can be tucked into the corner to create workspace for two. Floating shelves for storage are easy to install yourself, and a neutral rug will help diffuse some noise from the hardwood floors. Love it. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm totally stoked on this room. Would you still be stoked on this place if I spent a little bit more of your money than you told me to? Depends how much. <laughs> this place is $1,200 per month inclusive. We really love the place. If it was $1,100, we would take it right here on the spot, but it's not. It's a little bit higher. It's $12. So I think we need some time to discuss it. I go on the three strike rule. And we really had two strikes with this place. I nailed everything on their wish list, but the price and the backyard. So we'll see if they go for it. Like most renters, Mandy and Steve are working with a tight budget without much wiggle room. So I'm taking them to see a main floor rental in a smaller semi-detached home that's been converted into three apartments. It's about a 15-minute bus ride away from their desired downtown neighborhood. But with the rents a bit lower in this neck of the woods, I'm hoping it will rival the pricier Victorian. 
Guys, we're in a slightly different neighborhood than was your preference. And obviously it's not a Victorian, it's a newer house, but it has a renovated kitchen and bathroom, so I thought it was really worth showing you. Sounds good. Yeah, let's check it out. Okay, follow me. Come on in. So this room is kind of small, but it has the bay window, really great ceiling height. I don't really care for the laminate floors, just takes away some of that character. Living room is probably our most important element in terms of creating the vibe that we want, and this living room didn't have it. It's really small. It's really not that small when you remove all the tenants' belongings that are bulky and filling up the space, and anything's bigger than a tent. OK, well, let's check out the uh, bedroom and see if that works. OK. okay. Mm. You'd have to put a wardrobe in because there's no closet, but definitely you could fit a big bed. There's not a closet, there's carpet. We're, we're being really crammed in in this space. You can work with it a bit, but it might be a compromise. Sure. Mm. Let's check out the kitchen. Cool. Okay. So this kitchen has been newly renovated. It's got all new cabinetry, very modern. It's got a gas stove, which I think is fabulous. Mm -hmm. I like that. And it's a big, big kitchen which is great because this is the only area where you could really create an office space as well. Shelving units are inexpensive but valuable in a rental. Using a large unit from floor to ceiling will give you lots of storage for both kitchen and work items. In a small rental, it's a great solution for giving a room dual purpose. A long tabletop can be affixed to the unit to maximize space. Renters should always check the as-is section of big box stores for things like loan tabletops or spare parts to get creative in small spaces. Does that work for you guys? It's not really optimal. Yeah, I think that would be tough. I don't think it would work. The fact that it's being slashed with our office space is the, the big issue for me. It's unfortunate this place doesn't have access to a backyard, which I know is really important to you, um, but it does have a great storage space so it would fit all of your sports gear, skis, kayaks, the works. The backyard here is a big issue for us. Again, with having a new puppy, um, there's not even a front yard space that we can use instead, so I think that's a real drag. The number one reason I brought you guys here is price. This place is $1,000 all-inclusive, and the landlord is negotiable. Yeah, for sure, that is a bonus. Uh, it's definitely worth talking about. The bonus with this place is that it's potentially below our target, and because it's negotiable, it might be as low as 900. This place is a real test for Mandy and Steve. They say they want to save money, and I need to figure out just what lengths they're willing to go to to do so. I tend to be more of a stickler, though, in terms of, of character and, and what we want. So I'm, I'm willing to talk about price. Um... If price is open for discussion, there's definitely more chance of getting them what they want. So we're headed back to their favorite downtown area, where I've managed to find them a rental in a small pocket where outdoor space is easier to come by. The two-bedroom unit is on the second floor in a converted, semi-detached home that houses four separate units. All right, guys, I think you're going to love this place. It's two bedrooms. We're smack dab in the middle of the neighborhood you want to be in. And it's got a huge backyard. The landlord just built a shed, and he's working on a great big deck with a staircase down to the backyard so you guys would have fabulous access. Great, cool. Let's have a look. Okay. Come on up. So, this is the living room. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> It may not be hardwood, but new laminate is the next best thing. It's very bright. Yeah, very bright. A little tight. Sort of thing, when you open the door and you walk in, the first thing you see is this tight living room with doors off each wall, which makes it a little tricky. Yeah, I know it's hard to figure out where you'd place a couch, so you kind of have to be very sparse in this room. But let's just keep looking, because there's some other really good attributes. The bathrooms are behind you. It's been renovated. OK, cool. Looks nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks clean. It's great. Cool. The bathroom's big, and it's just been renovated. There's loads of storage, and I think it'll really work for them. It looks clean, and it's new, and I actually, I really like the cabinetry, so I was happy with it. Yeah, and there's shelving and storage area, which was nice. Pretty spacious. It's, it's an area where maybe the dog could be at, at certain times, because it's ceramic floors, so she's not going to mess up any wood floors. Stand-up shower. I'm not a bath person, so that doesn't bother me. So it has everything that I would need in a, in a bathroom. So come check out the kitchen. It's tight, 
Yeah, it is. Lots of counter space. What I like about the kitchen is that there's lots of counter space. I like to cook, so that works for me. We can definitely work with it. Yeah, it's tight, but I like that it's bright, it's open and airy, and I'm not sure whose number this is, but hopefully it's like <laughs> pizza or some sort of wonderful delivery. Perfect. <laughs> so when they do the renovation, that'll be the door to okay. the deck. Cool. Having the deck added on to the kitchen, even though it's long and narrow, will be a huge bonus, because in the warmer months, we can have that door open. It will totally double our space, um, which will make it better than manageable. Come check out the office. So this is advertised as a second bedroom, but I thought it would be perfect for both of your home offices. One of the big selling features of this place is the office space. It's more than what we were hoping for. The fact that there's a separate room that Mandy and Steve can use for their offices is fantastic. It means they won't have to have their workspace in their living room. Let's check out the master bedroom. I think you're going to like it. It's big. Mm, the bedroom here is massive. So this is a big step up from a tent. Absolutely. It's got so much space. I love it. Mandy and Steve have come from university residence rooms with desks and then living in a tent. So having a dedicated bedroom that's a nice size would be really great for them. Yeah, yeah we could do a lot with this. Yeah, I think it's loaded with potential. Storage is an easy fix. Used pieces work great in a rental because you can paint them any color to match the tone of the room. An armoire and a dresser will make up for the lack of closets here. A great DIY project for renters is to frame the bed with an inexpensive homemade headboard and use an ottoman as a footstool, pieces you can take with you. Jody did give us some good ideas about sectioning off a different space or adding a hutch or an armoire. It's got most of the stuff you're looking for, but it's $1,200 per month inclusive. It is a two bedroom place, and so chances of finding an office under $1,200 are very slim, so it's okay. Budget is definitely going to be a factor in their decision between three units. A Victorian with historic charm, a smaller one bedroom at a great price, and a second floor unit with a fantastic backyard. Which rental will replace their tent and campground? So guys, we've seen a bunch of places. What do you think? The Victorian was by far the winner when you looked at the house alone. It had a wonderful space. It was really large with the high ceilings. It had the character. So it would have made a really neat office slash living space, but it didn't have a lot of space outdoors. There was no porch. There was no patio. There was no backyard. And especially for the dog, that would mm. also be a major issue. OK. We knew that we weren't interested in the smaller one bedroom, because mm -hmm. the only thing that was good about that was the price. The rooms were really small. We'd have to work in the kitchen. There wasn't really a backyard space for the dog. And what about the second story place? It doesn't have, obviously, what the Victorian has. Um, it doesn't have the hardwood floors. It doesn't have quite that character. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, though, it has the backyard. Mm -hmm. And it has the second bedroom that we can use as an office. What was wonderful is that the bedroom was so large that there might be a lot of opportunity to do some interesting things with that space. So which one's it going to be? We're going to go with the second story place. Sounds like it was a no-brainer choice for Mandy and Steve. Great location, two separate bedrooms, and outdoor space to boot. When one place has it all, you need to jump on it quickly. So who's going to make the call? I guess I will. Never underestimate the power of connecting with a landlord. If your personalities click, that's a great sign. It promises the landlord an easy working relationship, which can go a long way, especially in Mandy and Steve's case, since they don't have references from past landlords. If they can convince this landlord that they'd be responsible tenants, a security deposit might be all they need to seal the deal. So it sounds like it's still available. Just gotta go and see what happens. Perfect, well, best of luck. Let me know how it goes. Give me a shout once you've spoken to him. If you've never signed a lease before, you're going to need to arm yourself with as much information as you can. You'll need a printed credit report, a letter from your employer stating your earnings, and letters of reference. Luckily, those documents were enough for Mandy and Steve to snatch up this great rental on the spot. Once we spoke to the landlord, it was sort of a done deal. He's got his canoe out back. He's building shells for our kayaks. He's giving us a space in the garden. Just little things that would have been added cost to us, so it makes 1200 really worth it. It's amazing the difference that a landlord can make. Mandy and Steve liked this place at first glance, but once they got to know that the landlord is very similar to them and wants to improve his investment, they love it. Coming from a campground, Mandy and Steve had very little stuff. So with minimal furniture, they were able to save on moving costs and simply borrowed a friend's truck. When you're moving into your first rental and don't have a lot of furniture, 
Look online at websites where people sell used items for a steal. Mandy and Steve were able to snatch up some furniture from listings they found within the neighborhood, which made it inexpensive and easy. They got a used couch and a bed in great condition for under $300. After years of sleeping in a tent, these two deserve a cozy bedroom where they can finally relax. <laughs> I'm surprising them with a bedroom makeover that will capture their character, give them a bit of that organic feeling they love while staying within a $1,000 budget, less than one month's rent. To give them some storage, we found a beautiful wood armoire in a second-hand store, and we're giving it a fresh coat of paint to bring it back to life. I've chosen a neutral gray for the walls to create a serene environment where the accessories can take center stage. We're repurposing an old ottoman by covering it with a lush fabric and accenting it with studs that snap right in. This piece can be used anywhere in the apartment if they need extra seating. I just hope it's the change they were looking for after trading in their tent. Nice. There's so much to take in. We didn't have any closets, and so they've taken a room without any closet space, and they've added some, mm. some nice pieces, and so it feels really good. Ooh, even this matches this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Little details. That's cool. Love this. this yeah, awesome. I really dig that. Isn't that great? Yeah, I think that's wonderful. awesome. I thought it was something that you guys would really like, and I yeah. can see you taking it on with you to, you know, different places. It's totally our style, and yeah, I love it. I think it's awesome. It's perfect. Having, like, solid fixture pieces that I'll be moving to a next home makes it feel grounded, and that's what I wanted. How do you like the light fixture? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I saw one of these at a really high-end furniture store, and it was $3,000. When I did it, I got an $80 chandelier, and we strung twigs around it with wire, painted it in a really matte color, and 100 bucks later, voila. Very cool. I was so excited to give this couple who's been living in a tent a really comfy, cozy, welcoming bed to come home to. The cottons are all organic and they're all very traditional prints, but they mm -hmm. become so modern when you mix them all together. This is really nice. Good. For your window treatments, we just did a very simple bamboo roller blind. Little things like that make a big difference. It's a really small investment, even if you leave it behind when you go. It doesn't feel like a rental space, which is something I was really hoping for through this experience. And it just feels like home, which is really nice. And that's kind of a neat touch. Those were screens, okay. so we bought two of them and took the hinges off and turned it into a headboard for you. Great. This is like a luxury for me, and I'm not really sure what I do with it. <laughs> but it looks cool. I think that's where you sit to put your socks on. Oh, OK. Oh. Well, there you go. See, I need someone to sort of give me a, a set of instructions <laughs> with all this stuff. And the idea of putting my socks on in that thing makes Brilliant. sense. It's perfect. I love it. <laughs> Good. We'll have you trained in no time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> The living room had a troubled past as far as paint goes. We painted a very nice, tasteful, neutral color, and voila. For me, that's one of the biggest things, is walking into the living room and to have that different paint on the walls, and so it's not like this bright thing that makes me feel like I'm in this little space, because it is a small living room. Mm -hmm. That makes a huge difference, and we have a couch. We've never owned a couch. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous, couch. but that's a big part of this whole space, is to have a place that we feel at home and we feel comfortable. The kitchen here is pretty tiny, but Mandy and Steve can pull some bar stools up to the counter and they've got an instant breakfast bar. I love the rack. The pot rack. The pot rack. It totally fills the room perfectly. The office was a bonus space for Mandy and Steve. Having an office is a total luxury. Both of us work from home a lot, so it'll be really beneficial to us. Yeah. The bathroom itself was very modern. We gave it a quick coat of paint in a nice woodsy color and removed the mismatched floating shelving. That punch of green makes the space a little bit more fun. Mm -hmm. I came in right on budget. $1,000 for the bedroom makeover and just some paint and small accessories throughout the apartment. We got what we wanted with this place completely. This whole thing was about landing ourselves on our feet and mm -hmm. building a home base from which we can also grow. And I think everything fits really nicely. I think for young professionals that are still renting, it's worth putting, whether it's a month's rent or whatever you're comfortable with, into your space to make it homey. 
Mandy and Steve are planning on living here for at least a couple of years. So it's absolutely worth the money to make the place comfortable and stylish.